Do I feel pressure trying to get that shot? Yes, I do. Definitely. It's a pressurised environment. Often where I'm working, there are photographers all around me, and we're all out to get that best shot. When I miss the shot, it's, it's quite hard to take. You know, I suppose when I was younger and less experienced, I would be really pretty angry. And you're standing at the end of the 100 metre straight and you've got Usain Bolt coming towards you at quite a speed. And it's sort of nine seconds and it's boom, gone. And you've been there all day setting up loads of cameras and you've you know, got this big, big moment and it's there for a fraction of a second. That is pressure. There's a reason why camera manufacturers often test their top level cameras on sports photographers. We push them to extremes. We're often shooting under poor conditions. We want fast shutters. We want really quick motor drives. We're pushing the camera the furthest it can go to. I never know sometimes what I'm doing from one week to the next. And features come up that I might have to, you know, go and illustrate, be it, you know, a top level or grassroots level. That's where I started, you know, doing things where I didn't need permission to go and photograph. These grassroots games, you can be much tighter to the action. And there might be quirky, offbeat stuff that just don't happen at top level sport. I have three cameras with me the whole time. A 400 millimeter lens, 70 to 200 millimeter zoom, and then 24 to 70 millimeter lens on a 1DX Mark II. A lot of the places that I'm working, there's lots and lots of gear around, lots of other photographers. So I put pink tape all over my gear to make sure I know it's mine. In a fast moving subject that sport is, it's absolutely critical to have autofocus working perfectly. And now it's amazing. That is the biggest game changer and development in technology that I've seen over the last 30 years. So at the moment, I've got it on only cross type AF points. Cross type AF points are just a bit more sensitive and react quicker for me. I use custom modes where I can sort of do like a preset exposure. I've got my main action setting, so 1600 F4 for doing normal peak of the action. And I might want a, a slow pan blur picture, so I just press this button and I've already got 20th of a second F8 to pan the shot. The 70 to 200 millimeter lens is probably the lens that I use more than anything in my job. It's my real workhorse of a lens and it's vital to me. But I often say you don't need to take great sports pictures on these amazing big lenses. I started off with just a 50 millimeter lens, but that taught me how to frame things, how to actually go in close. I focus through my right eye the whole time, but when I'm shooting a game, I look also through my left eye to see what is going on. I'm following the, the play, but out the corner of my eye, I might see a manager going loopy on the touchline. Bang, over to the manager. People come up to me and say, what do you do for a living? And I say, I'm a sports photographer. And they go, wow, that must be amazing. What do you mean you get to sit on the touchline right next to these amazing athletes doing amazing things? And I sort of take a minute and I think, yeah, it's not bad, is it, really? <laughs>